Welcome everybody to Monday morning, come back to love meditation and community connection time. <sighs> Just invite everybody to have a deep breath. Breathe into the day as the beginning. Deep breath. All the way down to the hips, to the root chakra and relax the body. And again, a deep breath in, in through the nose. Expand the belly, relax the shoulders. And relax the body. And again, a couple more long deep breaths like that. And somehow I'm being called to move into some version of alternate nostril breathing. I do a very specific one, which feels a little bit um, complex to describe this morning. So just want to invite everybody, if you have your own version of alternate nostril breathing, basically you're going to hold one side, breathe in on the left, hold, and then exhale on the right. So I'll just guide it that way. Hold, close the right, inhale on the left, hold for a bit, and then exhale on the right. We won't go back and forth unless that's your practice, then go back and forth. Make sure you've done three rounds. And it can be helpful to count. So for those of you new to the practice, I'm going to close off the right side and maybe count to three. And then close both sides, hold for three. And then exhale on the right for three. That's one way to do the practice. Mm. So we'll do one more round all together. So close off the right, inhale for three. Hold closed for three. Exhale on the right for three. Yeah. And with that, you can completely exhale, and close your eyes or a soft gaze. Let's bring our awareness to the land. I feel like the land beneath us and around us has been requesting some contribution. So let's start by, as we usually do, making some connection with the land. Mm. And that might mean bringing her energy up to merge and mix with your own. But also to really settle down into the earth and let her be of support. Just somehow hearing that we humans are have been so committed to doing things on our own and taking over and um, like working really hard. And trying to get things done and trying to get things accomplished and advanced. But that it's, it's not in the flow unless we include the earth. I feel like the invitation is to relax and allow ourselves to be supported 
Allow her to support us. And then whatever change, whatever growth, whatever shifting we want or we require or desire that we do it in conjunction with her in collaboration. Almost like a meeting of the minds and she's, yeah, and I guess she's saying that um, it's not, some of things are not going quite well because a lack, because of a lack of that, a lack of the awareness and yeah, just a total lack of the awareness that that's possible and that that's actually what's required to move forward, to flow and to be successful and in alignment. So may we all be the ambassadors of that information and that knowing and that wisdom by doing it ourselves with our work, with our relationships, with our families, with our creative endeavor endeavors, with anything and everything. Like Mitch was saying, he's taking on or restarting a walking commitment you know, how can the earth or the land contribute and how can you contribute to her as you take on your practice? And I think what the message is, is that it's there's more ease and more flow when we actually include, include her in it basically everything. Huh. So I didn't expect all that to come through. So let's expand our energy fields, certainly to include the earth, to include the land. Expanding outward in all directions with ease, with joy. Checking in on the left side. See if there's... Um, a need for um, a little support in that expansion of the feminine, of being in the flow with the feminine energy. Relaxing into trusting of the flow. And that's where we can get stuck as humans. We're so, um, we're so committed to the logical and the things that make sense and the science of it all, which is so important. <clears throat> that we te we're tending to trust the masculine energies more than we trust the feminine energies. I'm not talking about human bodies, just the energies of uh, masculine, what would be masculine in the doing and the logical and the step-by-step -step versus the feminine energy, which is more just more the flow and the intuition and the listening to the wisdom and allowing. And of course we all have both and we all require both. Um, but it feels like that feminine energy is uh, desiring some openness and trust in it for all of us, perhaps all of us that are here in this group this morning, since that seems to be the group energy. And maybe that's why the Alternate nostril breathing came first because it's about balancing energies, balancing the left and balancing the right. The left being the feminine and the right being the masculine, at least in this, uh, in my lineage and wisdom and knowing. So expanding, expanding outward now even further because that all that talking was just to distract you from the energies and the beings working on all of us. So that now the left side is much more expansive. When I came back to it. So let's continue all around for the continents and the ocean, the seas. <sighs> all the forms around the globe, out into the universe. as an ambassador also of love and peace, as you expand and 
allow your energy to bathe others that require it. Being seen and unseen, known and unknown beings, out to the stars, the planets, and the other universes, wherever they may be. So much more peaceful when we're actually connected in this infinite expansive way, as opposed to how we go through our days often not connected to the infinite. And as we stay in this moment connected to the infinite, I want to invite all of us to think of one or just not really think, but become aware <laughs> of one uh, sensation, <clears throat> a body sensation or um, an emotion, something that feels like it's been challenging in the last week or so. Just name one thing to yourself. It could be, it could even be a big thing, like, um, you know, we're doing the money class, so it could be a challenge with money, or it could be you've been getting headaches, or you have a headache right now, or you're, you know, you've been struggling with something more chronic in your body. Because I want to remind all of us in this moment that we are beings that are so beyond empathic not just empathy like people talk about these days which is of course <laughs> accurate but it's even beyond that because when we go out way 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 out like we are now we're picking up things from god knows where probably god knows where but we don't know where necessarily and these things that we are aware of in our bodies in our minds in our hearts are not necessarily ours. In fact, likely they're not. But some of us came in to this lifetime with an agreement to process things through our bodies. So there's body stuff. There's body stuff, <laughs> to use that word. And it's not necessarily our, you know, mine or yours karma to continue with that forever, you know, to this lifetime on the planet. So connecting to the universes and beyond, I invite you to return to sender wherever that thing that you're looking at right now came from. You don't have to know where but have the intention to send it back all the way, all the way, all the way back to wherever it came from. Even if it looks like, you know, an accident that happened in this lifetime or something you picked up or whatever the rational mind, whatever the, this reality makes it seem, I would still invite that we are aware of things that aren't ours that are from beyond 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 and a clear return to sender with intention with consciousness with light can help shift really quickly one of the issues is that the mind just likes to hold on so like we can shift and then the mind attaches we can shift and the mind attaches so we want to destroy and uncreate all of that attachment. It's like one of our one of our strongest addictions in our culture was that attachment. 
and it can be attachment to something traumatic or some drama that's happening or something that's painful. It somehow in some way brings us to life or gives us a purpose or something to focus on, something to distract us from what's really true about ourselves. So what if we destroyed and uncreated all of that, all the necessity for attachment? <sighs> and even returning that from, to where it came from, return that to sender as well, because it's not ours. Put on us from our culture and generations from really lifetimes that were so, so different than the life we are having right now. The, the evolution is almost mind boggling from where even our grandparents were to this day right now. So nice deep breath. Staying connected and aware of the universes that you're connected and aware of. You can continue returning to sender throughout the day to connect back into this space that we're in in this moment. You might even take your hand and give it, give like your hand a squeeze to kind of get this spaciousness into your being and body and you can come back to it any time later by squeezing your hand and coming back to this spaciousness that is so 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 infinite right now that's kind of an oxymoron and moron i know <laughs> but it does feel really spacious so feel free to stay in the spaciousness um, and just stay there 